Dogs are definitely man's best friend. They're loyal, lovable, not to mention extremely cuddly, but some of them can be dangerous. And we're not just talking about police dogs. There are even some small dogs, like chihuahuas, that sink their teeth into vets more often than any other breed. But certain species can cause more significant harm just because of their size or the force of their bite. Welcome back to the Forever Green channel. Today, we're going to take a look at 15 of the most ferocious and dangerous dogs you should fear the most. Before we do that, we have a quick quiz for you. Which of these dogs do you think has the most powerful bite of all? Put your answers in the comments down below. Number 15, Akita. The name might be cute, but the breed certainly isn't. It is one of the most fearsome guard dogs to originate from Japan, only second to the Tosa, which were bred as fighting dogs. Even today, the Akita remains the national dog breed and is a symbol of Japan. These dogs are confident, independent, and bred to provide world-class protection for any family. They can also be rather suspicious and aloof around strangers, and perceive unfamiliar people as dangerous, even if they are not. As a result, their protective instincts kick in and they attack. They can deal some real damage as they are quite large and strong. So you might want to tread very lightly if you ever visit someone with an Akita guard dog. Number 14. American Bulldog American Bulldogs can be friendly and docile if they are appropriately trained, and you don't give them a reason to be aggressive. Some owners actually interpret their dog's reluctance to comply with instructions as a lack of intelligence. But really, they're just a little bit stubborn. A bulldog won't do your bidding or obey you if you aren't a firm and consistent leader of the family. The fact that these dogs are not easy to train and control raises a concern because lack of training lets them become dangerous and attack unprompted. Number 13. German Shepherds German Shepherds are the pride and joy of any canine unit of police force and are pretty much synonymous with police dogs at this point. They're intelligent, agile, muscular, dependable for fighting crime, and if they're put in a bad situation, they can become dangerous. They have a bite force of 238 per square inch, enough to break the bone of a human. A typical family-owned German Shepherd believes it has one job and one job only, protect the family. With such a personality, accidents are bound to happen, and very few people can actually survive an attack from them. And if you think that sounds dangerous, stick around for the number one fiercest dog on our list. Number 12. Doberman Pinscher Dobermans easily tower over other dogs at 28 inches tall and can weigh up to 100 pounds. They're powerful creatures and because they have so much strength, they need to be trained early. One of the biggest concerns with raising a large dog is the ability to train them properly. They are an intelligent breed but their dominant nature and size can make them somewhat difficult for some people to train. Many owners describe their dogs as loyal, obedient, energetic, alert, and courageous creatures, but chances are they were successful with training them. Keeping a Doberman requires extra attention, and those who fail to provide it are more likely to be the ones with dogs that contribute to the attacks. Number 11, Alaskan Malamute. This breed is not necessarily aggressive. Most owners will even tell you they can be sociable and good with children. The problem is, they have a ton of energy, and if it isn't directed to something productive, the consequence is aggressive behavior. When a Malamute exhibits aggression, it is probably due to neglectful owners. 
These dogs need both physical and mental stimulation in order to maintain healthy living, both in mind and body. An inability to release pent-up energy usually leads to destructive behavior on their part. And this includes attacking strangers. These dogs can weigh up to 100 pounds, so encountering an aggressive Alaskan Malamut could undoubtedly prove to be dangerous. Number 10. Rottweiler Although they are generally good-natured, Rottweilers will do whatever it takes to protect their pack or owners. Most owners describe them as loyal, fearless, and confident, all of which are excellent temperament characteristics for the perfect family dog. However, Rottweilers are also one of the most dangerous breeds out there. Devoted and obedient almost to a fault. They have a bite force of 328 pounds per square inch. And the only chance of surviving an attack from them is to go completely passive, put up a fight, and you might just regret it. The dog won't pose a threat to people it knows and trusts, but outsiders and strangers are a different story. The males of this breed don't distinguish between playful aggression and actual aggressive action. So, they have been known to bite a stranger even if they are just trying to have fun. So teasing or playing with an unfamiliar Rottweiler won't end well for you. Number 9. Pitbulls Statistically speaking, Pitbulls are the most dangerous breed of dog. Despite that title, they can be sweet and caring too. But it's usually aggressive or unkind owners that make them develop aggressive behavior. Many Pitbull attacks were believed to be carried out by dogs with irresponsible and abusive owners who specifically train them to be vicious. They're generally loyal, friendly, and really do love people and they can be trained to be social, but it also heavily depends on their circumstances. Just in case though, we would suggest you tread lightly around them. Number 8. Bully Cuda Also called the Pakistani Mastiff, the Bully Cuda were initially bred to be hunters and guardians and fight against wild boars and bears. But their massive size and naturally aggressive nature have made them popular as fighting dogs in Pakistan. Sadly, they are still used in illegal dogfights. They are a whopping 44 inches tall and can weigh up to 170 pounds. Which justifies their other name, the Beast from the East. Training them to be social can be risky sometimes, as they are quite a temperamental breed. They may seem playful at first, but play fights with other dogs can quickly escalate and have fatal consequences. If you're planning to get one, you should have experience with other big dogs, not to mention plenty of space in your backyard. Number 7. Tosa Inu Another Japanese prize-fighting dog breed. But this one is so dangerous that the species has actually been banned in many countries, including the UK and Australia. This is because it was bred specifically for blood sports. Japanese rules meant that Tosa Inu wasn't even allowed to make noise while in the pit. So they can fight in silence, and you wouldn't even know. They are even called the sumo of the dogfighting world. In countries where the breed is allowed, owners are required to apply for a special permit. Even some towns in Japan have banned the breeding of the Tosa Inu. So, if you're raring to get one, you need to be an experienced dog owner or trainer. There are very few things scarier than this 150-pound Japanese dog charging right at you. Number 6. Chow Chows It's an adorable name, right? The Chow Chow is a Chinese dog breed well known for its lion-like mane. 
as intriguing as it looks, it is also extremely dangerous, so you might not want to get too close. Like the other dogs on this list, it has been the cause of several attacks. People tend to underestimate this dog because it looks so cute, but if they are not socialized properly, they could be on the receiving end of a vicious attack. The best way to avoid any mishaps is through early and consistent socialization as a puppy. This breed of dog is loyal, independent-minded, and quiet. They're also naturally protective and can sometimes be possessive as well. If this behavior is not moderated often, aggressive behavior in adulthood is a real possibility. So, as cute as it may look, you shouldn't try to hug it or play with it. Number 5. Perro de Presa Canario This dog breed is from the Canary Islands and is also called the Canary Mastiff. They're easy to spot with their big droopy ears. They can grow to be massive dogs, incredibly strong, and quite dangerous when provoked. They are incredibly loyal and protective by nature, but can be friendly if trained properly. They require early socialization and obedience training. In some cases, the Perro de Presa Canario can be aggressive toward other dogs and suspicious of strangers. In the past, these dogs were also used in dogfighting rings due to their size, and there have been reports of fatal attacks on humans. In fact, the buying and selling of this breed is completely prohibited in Australia and New Zealand. Number 4. Fila Brasileiro Also called the Brazilian Mastiff, these dogs are strong, dependable, and trained to serve as working dogs. They are known for their superb tracking abilities, aggressiveness, and unforgiving temperament. Rather than attacking their prey, they trap them and wait for the hunter, making them great hunting partners. For that reason, they are used as guard dogs for livestock and hunting dogs for large game. Once trained and aware of its place in the family, they can make excellent companions. But this dog's bite is worse than its bark and displays fierce devotion and protectiveness of their family if provoked. If you want to know what they look like so you can avoid it, they stand out with their saggy ears and dark muzzles. Number 3. Cane Corso Originating from the south of Italy, this dog is scary because of its solid, calm disposition with incredible strength. It's the perfect guard dog and an ideal hunting partner when you're out to catch a big game. Though they were never used for dogfighting, their aggression is known to cause problems. They have a bite force of 700 pounds per square inch, meaning they can easily kill humans. Cane Corsos are incredibly attentive to their owners and more responsive to training than other Mastiffs. They are dominant, but can also respect an owner that is kind, confident, and consistent. You would have to train this one very well, especially if you have other breeds at home. It is now time for today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you find a weird or interesting picture on the internet, send it over to us and we'll investigate. Today's image comes from a subscriber. Let's take a look. Seems like they're ready to attack. Those laser red eyes would be a terrifying last sight to see. And that is Pitbull, a fearless dog breed that will go to any length to save its owner. They look dangerous, but as mentioned above, they are sweet and caring too. It's usually aggressive or unkind owners that make them develop aggressive behavior. But we do have a similar dog. No, its eyes don't glow red when it's about to attack, but it might as well. Number 2. Tibetan Mastiff They look creepy, but owners admire them for their stature. They're like the lions of the Tibetan Plateau. But they don't exactly make for good playmates. The Tibetan Mastiff is bred for guarding flock, family, and territory. They are fierce, serious, and scary dogs that have a strong will to defend their turf. Despite their size, they're pretty agile and capable of jumping and scaling six-foot fences. 
Imagine a dog that size jumping six feet in the air and attacking you. Yeah, it's probably best to avoid them. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. Alright, let's take a look at the number 1 most dangerous dog you should fear. Number 1. Kangal These mighty dogs come from the small town of Kangal in the Turkish province of Sivas. They were the pride and joy of affluent landholders and chieftains, and mostly bred by villagers who needed guardians for their flock of sheep and goats. With their massive size, they could easily scare away wolves and other wild animals. And even today, they pretty much have the same appearance and behavior because of strict breeding standards. And when we say massive, it is nowhere near the bully kuda, but still pretty big. Kangles can grow to 33 inches in height and weigh 143 pounds. Females are smaller than males, but still quite huge. And despite their size, they are remarkably agile and quick. Despite their size though, Kangles tend to be more agile and athletic compared to other giant breeds. Kangles protect the herd and attack even if they haven't been given an order. They've proven to be tough dogs who are instinctively protective, and if you ever happen to get bitten by them, you will need serious medical attention. They have the strongest bite force of any breed in the world, with a force of 743 pounds per square inch. To put that in perspective, a Kangle could easily overpower a wolf, cheetah, and even a lion if they put enough work into it. Maybe that's why Kangles are also called the Anatolian Lion. But when they are off duty, they can be gentle creatures, as long as you don't provoke them, that is. And there you have it, 15 terrifying dog breeds you should definitely avoid, or at least train exceptionally well if you want them to be your friend. Considering adopting any of them, let us know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and check out other videos over on the Forever Green channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.